hi welcome to the channel again it really means a lot to me that you're here to watch my video my discussion in this video is going to be about the landlocked countries in africa how many countries in africa are landlocked please stay with me for a few minutes as i take you through the list of landlocked countries in africa as well i will discuss briefly the advantages and disadvantages of landlocked countries in africa if you find this video informative and educative please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have haven't already done so. In plain English, a landlocked country is a country that has no direct access to the sea. A country is considered landlocked when it's surrounded on all sides by one or more other countries and therefore has no immediate coastline providing access to the sea. As you can see right here, Rwanda is a landlocked country surrounded by other countries like Burundi, Tanzania, Uganda and Democratic Republic of Congo. There are 49 landlocked countries in the world and 16 out of those 49 are in Africa. Out of Africa's 54 countries, 16 of them are landlocked. These countries are completely surrounded by at least one other country with no direct access to the sea. In alphabetical order, the landlocked countries in Africa are Botswana, Burkina Faso, Burundi, Central African Republic, Chad, Utopia, Lesotho, Malawi, Mali, Niger, Rwanda, South Sudan, Swaziland which is now called Eswatini, Uganda, Zambia, Zimbabwe. Out of the landlocked countries in Africa, only Lesotho is the single country landlocked. This simply means that it is surrounded by only one country. As you can see here, Lesotho is only surrounded by South Africa. What are the disadvantages of landlocked countries? Landlocked countries are at significant economic disadvantage compared to the country that are not landlocked. Landlocked countries face relatively higher transportation and transactional costs in terms of time and money for cross-border and international trade. Border crossing, cumbersome transit procedures, inefficient logistics system, and poor infrastructure substantially increase the cost of doing business in a lot of African landlocked countries. It is estimated that the basic trade costs of landlocked countries are nearly twice those of neighboring countries with coastline. The lack of access to the sea means it is far more expensive to import essential items and export goods. 9 of the 15 countries with the lowest Human Development Index scores are landlocked. Life expectancy in most cases continues to lag behind neighboring coastal line. Lack of territorial access to the sea, remoteness and isolation from world markets and high transit costs can impose serious constraints on their overall socio-economic development. The Human Development Index HDI is a summary measure of average achievement in key dimensions of human development, a long and healthy life, being knowledgeable and have a decent standard of living. Surely there has to be some advantages to being a landlocked country. So what are the advantages? Some people argue that landlocked countries have advantage of protecting their country from importation of cheap products since importation is really very costly. This can help in having a more robust local food system. Because of lack of coastal line, landlocked countries might have advantage of not getting flooded through sea and ocean waves. While some landlocked countries maintain navy on major lakes and rivers, majority of landlocked countries do not have navy, so they might be saving a lot of money that would have been spent on their navy. I hope you find this video educative and informative. Do you think I've missed out some advantages and disadvantages of being a landlocked country? Please leave me a comment and let me know. Thanks for watching and God bless.